We're walking in the Oregon forest. There's Do Bigfoot it. there. Do it! Come on, kill me! I'm here! Come on! Do it now! Come on, kill me! Bigfoot exists. Tom was right. Tom was right. Let's get it out there. Tom was right. I, I couldn't hear you. I was busy basking in my glory. What did you for say? For the first time ever. Huh. Hang on. Yeah. Let me bask a little longer. Well, you you bask while I start the broadcast. Okay. Hey there, everybody. Thanks for joining us on the Gun Cranks. This week, we're going to talk about something. But first, we have to, again, say that Tom was right last week. We couldn't remember. <laughs> you really laying it on for the, <laughs> for the life of us. Well, I said we're going to talk about it at the beginning. And... Tom was right. It's Wild Bill Hickok that was holding the dead man's hand in Deadwood, South Dakota. I've been there. I've written stories about him. I've seen his grave. Roy has too. And we couldn't think of his name. So, okay. But Tom Wild Bill did. Hickok. And I told him he was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I agree. Yeah. But you so. know what? That's kind of a habit. You're telling me I'm wrong. So I can it's understand. It usually is I can, wrong. Right? Yeah. I usually am. So, uh, you know, I can see anyway. how that, that habit would get built up. And, Welcome uh, again. Welcome to the Gun Cranks. I'm Guns Magazine editor Brent Weed, along with the in incredibly intelligent Tom McHale, the editor of American Handgunner, and Roy Huntington, our special assignments editor. So, gentlemen, uh, hey, hey, Roy, now. did you know that that Tom was right? Uh, let's just get I, you that know out I heard there. that someplace, and I can't quite remember where I heard that, but yeah, he was right. Yeah. Well, we've laid it on thicker and heavier as we went. To quote a uh, a uh, Charlie Daniels song. But anyway, if you didn't see last week's episode, we were talking about black powder for self-defense. And we got to the part where we were talking about the famous event, Deadwood, South Dakota. And for the life of us, we could not remember it was Wild Bill Hickok, even though, you know, it was pretty much there. So anyway, we, I've, I've fulfilled my obligation. If you haven't checked out the episode from last week, you need to do that. It's called Black Powder for Self-Defense. What kind of idiot are you? And so anyway, we're going to move forward now. Did, oh, did my opinion slip out? And we're going to talk about Bigfoot. Have. Now, this this came up from we were actually in a team meeting the other day, and I had my favorite mug, which is a skunk ape mug. My brother got it for me. Uh, the skunk ape, if you're not familiar, is... The Bigfoot that lives supposedly in the Fort Everglades, which he lives mm -hmm. near, and uh, only a couple people have seen him, and uh, nobody else, and there's no pictures, and the skunk ape likes lima beans, but I do have a skunk ape mug, so I was saying, you know, the next gun crank, we need to talk about Bigfoot. We need to talk about what kind of gun would you use to shoot Bigfoot? Would Bigfoot shoot back at you, and does Bigfoot even exist? So, Tom, I'm sure you believe Bigfoot exists, right? I do, because I know for a fact it exists, because we have a place not far from where I live. It's one of these um, places that sells all the all the lawn stuff, you know, lawn <laughs> decor and decorations outside. And this this lot, it's probably a quarter acre lot with a little tiny house in it, has three or four thousand lawn ornaments of various types. And they have right on the corner for years and years and years, a five foot tall Bigfoot. Now I ask it. Now it's not full go. size. It's not to scale. I was going to say that's not full size. I ask you, would they go to the trouble to do that if Bigfoot did not exist? No. Who would do that? Tom, are you, right? you're going to hurt yourself stretching that hard. <laughs> <laughs> I retract anything I, I said what, about though? him being right. I really want one. I really. <laughs> I'm thinking the homeowners yeah. association would go on full alert. You know, DefCon <laughs> Five for that, but. Uh, I really want one. You know, it's funny so, you should say that. So for Wait. being right last week, maybe yeah. you guys could chip in. Just saying. <laughs> Your homeowner right. association, I can hear it now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there is somebody up the way here on Rain Miller who has that when it's cut out of metal. Yeah. But it's full size. It's like seven <laughs> feet tall. And they've got it kind of just peeking out from some bushes. And I have to say, it doesn't matter. Every day when you drive by, you go. <laughs> I like, love it. What the hell? <laughs> yep. It is amazing. Well, around here they make them out of wood. That way the bullets don't ricochet when the, the rednecks <laughs> are driving around at night. Hey, there it is. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yep. I've seen it. You know. Yep. So my question <laughs> is if if he exists, how come I mean they're they're a, a bipedal hominid? Uh they've got opposable thumbs, supposedly. 
how come they're not armed? I mean, everybody in America seems to have a gun, especially people that don't need to have guns. Why doesn't hmm. Bigfoot have one? And would he shoot back? And what kind of gun do you think he'd carry? Of course, if you're seven foot tall and you have fangs and stuff, you probably don't really need a gun. That's true. Huh? You know, that's true. I, well, I'm going to go on record here and say, I think if someone believes in Bigfoot, they're morons. <laughs> okay. How, how do you feel, Roy? <laughs> and and if this is a show about what kind of gun would you have for defense against uh, Bigfoot, I have a picture of my gun. I'm going to show it to you right now. Okay. And it's non-existent. <laughs> okay. Because if you're trying to defend yourself against something that doesn't exist, then you don't need to have a gun. Do you? I, okay. Are you sure that's not drawn an invisible ink because Bigfoot's kind <laughs> it's of invisible? It's a conspiracy. Yeah. I know. They're going to say, what's okay. that gun he's got there? I don't really see it. Change, hold the paper different. I'm, I'm, I can't make it out. Put a hair dryer on that, will you? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to pull a Tom McHale and, and prove to you how wrong you are, Roy. Mm-hmm. Zombies. Zombies were a huge thing here mm-hmm. a couple of years ago. There was even yeah. guns designed for zombies. Now, mm-hmm. is a zombie more real than Bigfoot? I put it to you, Greg. <laughs> you know yeah you want to see my zombie gun you know <laughs> wow. well there was also zombie ammo yeah, yeah. I, I mean sold if we take millions this, of dollars worth of zombie ammo they, I, which is a, a boggles my mind i think though if we take it another direction let's pretend <laughs> that our secret friend bigfoot exists okay and so if he or she or it exists what gun would you want to defend against it so here we are walking in the oregon's forest and we think that there's a bigfoot there what gun would you be comfortable carrying on your hip tom easy i'm going back to last week's episode dragoon <laughs> i'm gonna It'd hit him with the 44 44- yeah. Lead ball, and I'm going to blind him with the smoke. <laughs> That's true because it would help to obscure <laughs> the fact that he doesn't really exist. Right. Uh, this, yeah. You know, the uh, best way to hide an invisible monster is to cover it with smoke. Absolutely. <laughs> and mirrors and stuff like that. So uh, I agree with you. Huh. So um, I, br- I would use a, a flare gun, <laughs> you know, because. <laughs> Yeah, you got to think all that hair, it's all greasy and, you know, matted. So I'm th- you like a I'm, torch. I'm just like serious a- here. Exactly. I just. That's kind of brilliant. It would, it would make for great video. It would be on all the nightly news. Like a um, flaming, now, a- <laughs> a, a flaming uh, Bigfoot running down the side of the mountain. <laughs> I, I got to take that off. That, that is yet. brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just, the, the video would be good because there'd be ample light so you could see what it was. <laughs> it wouldn't be one of these dimly lit, oh, see that little speck over there? That's, no, no, there's, if Bigfoot is on fire and he's running down the street, you're going to, you're going to, there's not going to be any question. <sighs> So you we, really you know, thought, thought this through, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the funny thing, though, too, is if you oh. think about it, it's like, we, you know, we have a, a picture that's 100 years old that you see that somebody took with a yeah. camera 100 years ago. And it's crystal clear and it's perfect. You know, we have pictures of the moon from the Earth and you can see little rocks and stuff like that. But why is it that every single picture of Bigfoot, <laughs> you, you can't yeah. tell anything, you know? Well, and, and, and he, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I mean, that's just the point. I mean, come on, you know, everybody's yeah. got a phone in their pocket now that'll do, you know, HD imaging. And yet you yeah. still see cell phone pictures and they're like, you know, it's all blurry and somebody's yeah. running and yeah. Whoa, 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 well, whoa, whoa, and, whoa. And so the other thing is a... the... UFO pictures are fake now. Shh, don't go there yet. What? Yeah. Because we still have to do the show is what gun to use for self-defense against UFOs. <laughs> so we can't exactly. cover that now. Yeah. Well, we did do the one, how do you defend yourself against Chinese balloons? Because we did have readers asking, well, which gun should I use? Well, <laughs> you're going to need something that will really reach out and touch them because they're, they're a ways up there. But no, I, 
I lost my train of thought now. Right? That was a I real, was... but see, that was a real threat. It's like you could look up and there it is. Even the doubting Thomas that I am, I wouldn't say, well, that's not really yeah. a Chinese balloon up there, you know, because you there it is. You can't deny it. But yeah. I mean, I don't know. And I'm sure we're going to get some comments from people saying, you guys are idiots because I've seen my very own <laughs> Bigfoot. I, I've seen and, one. I've well, here's it. my argument against Bigfoot, and you're absolutely correct. Everybody's carrying around a video camera now, right, on their, on their hip mm-hmm. or in their back pocket. Here's the other side from the hunting angle. There's millions of trail cameras out there, and a lot of guys will keep them out there all year. We've yeah. not got one do. single yeah. solitary picture of a Bigfoot. Mm-hmm. And my brother loves those Bigfoot hunting shows. There, That is something I want to start my own Bigfoot hunting show because – you don't need any Bigfoot. <laughs> you just, hey, did you hear that? Oh, and, and they'll, they'll capture things on their trail cameras, and it'll be like a glowing orb or something. Yeah. that That's a yeah. picture of a Bigfoot. Or it's a firefly, okay? It's <laughs> whatever it is, it's fuzzy and, and you can't see anything. Meanwhile, I can show you thousands of my own photos of deer looking right in the camera going, hey, what are you doing there, buddy? So. Why do they always do that? I know on my <laughs> truck, it's the same way because you can see they're walking by and it'll be at nighttime. So you get the fl- infrared flash. And then the yeah. next picture is they're looking at the camera. And then the next picture, usually you have a deer nose, you know, yeah. <laughs> and an eye right up on your camera. And so if that's the case, then we should have pictures of Bigfoot, kind of like doing that frozen sideways yeah. where they go, huh? What was that? <laughs> and then the next one is them looking closer at the camera. And the next one is their eyeball, like up right at the <laughs> lens. And the next one is the camera pointing up in the air and a big foot coming down on it. Right. Yeah. So, but you're Here's right. what I'm thinking for, we've already missed April fool's day, but you know how, how you've seen these tests or memes where people see something and they assume. So, if we had a picture of a real hairy eyeball looking right at the camera and the headline on gunsmagazine.com is first unsubstantiated picture of Bigfoot eye. <laughs> unsubstantiated. You know what people are going to see? First substantiated picture. Yeah, We'd get a yeah. – I'm going to I'm gonna call the boss as soon as we're done and say, give me a makeup artist and some fake fur and we're doing this. It will be a, a multi-million <laughs> seller. I think I know some guy who probably could just pose for it, and we would think it really was Bigfoot. <laughs> well, have you ever seen he me after so, a week long hunt? <laughs> yeah, he, he looks so real, you know. Wow, it's because he is. Wow. All right. Well, if oh. you think, if you're listening and you think Bigfoot is real, please post in the comments so we can and then explain why. Make, yeah, so we can make fun of you in the pu- yeah. in public. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, and if, That's. And if, if you kind of really have to our viewers, <laughs> yeah, no, but if you really have seen a Bigfoot and have something other than an impossible to discern blurry picture of a yeah. rock, you please let us know because we would love to post that and everything. Yep. So I, I'll make I'll make a challenge right here. I'm I'm the editor. I am the editor of Guns Magazine. You show me a good picture. Let's say it's Bigfoot holding today's New York Times. You do that, <laughs> I will pay you top dollar for that photo. Okay, a dollar ninety seven. Cash. Top dollar. Cash. Yeah. Cash oh. money. We'll chip in too because he probably doesn't have a dollar ninety seven. So, but lest you think we're irreverent, I would like to let you know that actually we are irreverent, <laughs> and that if you believe in Bigfoot, we we are and we will make fun of you. Uh, yeah. But if you're going in deepest, darkest Africa, you're going up against the great apes or something, which, by the way, you can't kill them so because you get in a lot of trouble. But yeah. whatever gun you had for that probably would work for Bigfoot, huh? I, I can't imagine back in the day hunting a gorilla. That would just seem odd I know. and unsettling. You I know? know. They were barbarians in those days. But <laughs> today... Uh, I've, I actually heard a discussion one time. It was on some crazy show discovery channel where they want you to believe that space aliens came down and all that. And, but it was these guys, it was like, I think Tom, you were saying is one of the hunt, the Bigfoot shows, you know, and, and they were all standing around about to go hunting Bigfoot and everybody had their deer rifles and they were talking about, well, this my deer rifle. It'll be more than enough. (laughs) I thought, yep. You guys have a good time. 
you know, a, a, an angry Cape Buffalo will, will charge you and kill you. Elephant, uh, you know, even a hippo is extremely dangerous. I can't even imagine what a wounded Bigfoot could do. You know, that's that's an animal you don't want to wound. I mean, they've got opposable thumbs and everything. It would, you may want to take some Vaseline along with your gun. Because <laughs> I hear that they smell bad too. Everybody yeah. says, you know, yeah, you can always tell when a Bigfoot's in the air because it stinks. Well, yeah, just greasy like hair. You just, yeah, you just if you're probably just stepped in something back there. I, so. I guess I guess Bigfoot's never heard of dry shampoo, but. Wow. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, Crazy. there's no pictures of them bathing in the pond anywhere nope. either. So, nope. all right, well, you guys, but help us yeah. out with this, readers. If you have a picture of Bigfoot, we want to know. We want to see it. Yeah. Absolutely. So, well, on that note, <laughs> this brings a strange and unusual episode of the Gun Cranks <laughs> to a close. Tom, you've got special interest publications. You're in charge of those. We've got some good ones. Do we have any Bigfoot material? We do. We have Bigfoot catalog? Sighting Weekly coming out any day. Okay. Yeah, there's my Bigfoot. I You'll find you that right in there. supermarket checkout aisles near you <laughs> as soon as it hits the streets. Excellent. Or if, if that's not your fancy, you could read our surplus special edition it's got great great stories of old guns and military gear and all kinds of fascinating stuff so get that from amazon or any of our websites excellent excellent all right well <laughs> this this one just got me shaking my head but you gotta admit a flaming bigfoot that's that's something to see. So I'll I'll pay extra top dollar for the video of that. Uh, so anyway, on behalf of Special Assignment Editor Roy Huntington, the editor, the esteemed editor of American Handgunner Magazine, Tom McHale, I'm the omnipotent and all powerful editor of Guns Magazine, Brent Wheat. Glad you could join us for this episode of the Gun Cranks, and we'll see you next week where we're going to have to go a ways to top this bizarro topic. So, well, but I'm sure you have faith we can do it. So, we'll see you guys next time. I'm Guns Magazine editor Brent Wheat, and I'm with Tom Taylor, editor of the American Handgunner, Eric Yellowhouse, editor of AmericanCop.com, and that about, man about town, Roy Huffington. Yeah.